Have you visited the Temple of the Kyber, brother? Many times. I've been reading about it. It's written that visitors often see themselves in the visages of the Kyber statues within. In a different age, we could visit the Holy City of Cycles. Hmm. Explain. Enlightenment is defined as cycle breaking. But per the canons, to be enlightened is to suffer the cycle. The more we strive to break the cycle, the more we embody it. But in accepting it, we become enlightened. Thereby Let's take this to sister task. <laughs> ah, Cal. I was hoping we could speak about something. There is a site, quite an ancient one at that, in the northern desert. I visited it during my early days on Jeddah, before the Empire's presence grew. What kind of site? One built by those who revered Force users. We know little about them, but I found the experience quite fascinating. Perhaps you will too. I'll check it out. Cordova said he found you while he was seeking other Jedi survivors. Yes. Hard to believe that fate brought us together once again after all this time. Could have used that luck when we were hunting for the Holocron. I know. Luck or fate. I'm just happy my master is alive and here with us. Yeah. And determined as ever to tend to the Jedi legacy and resist the Empire. Glad you didn't have to fly through that storm. So, how's it feel to be piloting the Mantis again? Like being home. Then why the long face? Ah, it's been too long. My pilot instincts are all off. I know how hard it is trying to relearn skills you put to the side. I guess so, huh? Still, I regret ever walking away from the Mantis. Keep thinking I'm gonna slip up. You walked away when you needed to. I know you'll pick it back up in no time. Okay, okay. You're a good friend, Cal. had this since I started freelancing. It's gotten me out of some bad situations, and I figured it might do the same for you. It's Marin, right? Well, I could get another one, if you think you might want it. No need. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're good. Okay. My master always frowned upon using blasters. You once said it wasn't the weapon that makes you a Jedi. <laughs> It's us against the galaxy, Cal. We've got to use every advantage we can find against the Empire. Thanks, Bo. Now, I'll show you how to use it. Stormtrooper won't stay still. Gotta start somewhere. 
Well, there you go. Not bad. Oh, how long have you been working for Seer? I do not work for Seer. Right. My mistake. Cal does not like stormtroopers. He does. Impressive. I think you got it, Cal. Get out there. We're Kobo bound. Maybe those anchorites aren't so bad after all. Didn't you call them weirdos? That was before Seer told me they're helping those poor refugees hide from the Empire. That right? Yeah. Working with the group called the Hidden Path. Real hush-hush stuff. So keep it in the family. Understood. Seems like you've got a nice crew. Oh, former crew. I know. Do I? So, Cordova thinks we'll find out how to cross the Abyss by tracking down Dagon's old haunts? That's right. You ever been there? Once. Used to be a settlement. Now it's just a bunch of crumbling stone spires and creepy ruins. Sit down, or here. Master Cordova's research shows an abandoned settlement past the east side of the valley. Let's go check it out. Ready to go. Here we go. Only the force.
Help me. This one's a rare catch indeed. What is it? The fabled farfish. Its tail is one ribbon with greed, soaked to the bone with tragedy. There are scant few far left on account of their succulent glands. But I do not intend to harvest the poor creature for its organs. Got here. He's always had a green thumb. You know he talks to his plants?
It's you! I saw you tearing through the woods. Remember me? Name's Toa. I'm a historian. Freelance, these days. Cal, also freelance. You planning on doing more exploring? Of course. This is my first time beyond the Mid-Rim, but I can already tell this place is a trove. Centuries ago, folks couldn't wait to scratch out a living under a new sky. And hell, they sure chose a vibrant world. Vibrant, huh? Hey, let me know if you find any more of those chambers, yeah? Will do. Greetings, Sojourner. Just Cal will do. It will not. Okay. You don't look like the other prospectors. No, no, no. They unearth riches. Tulak excavates that which cannot be so easily grasped. Make a lot of credits in that line of work? Wisdom is a good that never decays and is always in short supply. Come on in, grab a spot at the bar. Barkeep. You look tired. Take a load off. Word is there's a traveling troubadour and a DJ droid from the core worlds on Kobo. Not what I expected you to say. Any idea why they're there? They've hiked out onto the valley plateau to sample the sounds of the wild. And the sounds of the wild can come from creatures that kill you. Can't drop those beats if you're dead. I'll see if I can find them. I suspected as much. It's good to see you. Who taught you to hunt, Mosey? Well, I grew up in a large family. My siblings and I competed with one another. For attention, praise, food sometimes. Had to be the strongest to stand out. Sounds intense. Yeah, Mama was hardest on me. Always pointing out a mistake, criticizing my techniques. That must have toughened you up. Yeah, likely did. But I've come to resent it. Probably the reason why I flung myself here. I barely knew my parents. Yeah. Well, that ain't always a bad thing now, is it? Know anything about the High Republic residences on Kobo? Oh, when I first got here, I did a little exploring of my own. I went into a place, and then I heard creepy voices, and I got out of there in a hurry. I'll let you know if I hear any voices, Grease. Wise guys. Let's see what we find up here. Ah, lad! Cast your eyes over this beauteous tank! Glad you came around to it. Hey, it made me make a fetching first impression. Have a mind to give it a third scrubbing. Cleaning the filter, you think someone tried to cram a moss through a sieve? Oh, can't unhear that. You wish to prick up your ears and receive the tale of Scuba? If you're sharing stories, we'll listen. Then you be a fool, my lad. A sordid tale will bring you nothing but grief and woe. Okay, well, if 
if you're not sharing stories, we'll... Oh, fine, I'll tell you. At your own assistance, and at your own peril. The story begins in a small village on the frozen banks of Sakavi Tan. My home world. Nights black as quellfish in it. Winter so cold, a stern look can turn you to glass. Doesn't sound like the easiest place to grow up. Difficult, eh? From the moment your mother's milk froze on your tongue to the moment you found it upon frozen streets. You see, the fishes, they had the right of it. They dwelt far below the ice, where warm currents danced like ribbons in the wind. A fish so scarce a quarry. On account of the great fish famine, well, it's nearly a mild undertaking. But for all the belly aching now, there's a peaceful enough life for a wee Sakavian with an instinct for the rod. So you discovered your talent early? Such a talent was I, that as a lad, me hardly spoke to my first prickly chin hair. I was given an audience with Undun. But that'd be a tale for another time. What do we have here? What a view. All right, let's try planting these seeds we found. This could bring some color to the garden. How about here? Here's your new home. Hope it does well over there. What do you think, BD? Here? Let's sow some new seeds. Now we wait.
We're off to a pretty good start here, buddy.